we've got something a little bit different today. Um, as you can probably see, I've got my clubs over my shoulder. And what I'm going to do, as an ex-touring professional and now a club professional, um, who can sometimes hold his own in terms of playing, I'm going to take on a plus one handicapper. And so can an ex-pro beat a plus one handicapper? We're going to play a few holes around Chesterfield and let's find out, shall we? Everyone, meet Josh. Actually, he's a son of a very, very good friend and Josh is a good friend as well. Meet Josh Bovis, everyone. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> he's got funky glasses on. So we're on the first tee. Um, Josh is going to go first. He's going to show us how it's done. A little bit downwind. It's 367 yards, but it's a dog leg. And we got in, out of bounds on the right. So there's a little bit of trouble. Good luck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll play. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Now I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. <laughs> I think that's all right, isn't it? Four years ago, his handicap was 25, and now it's plus one. So he's obviously going in the right direction. And like I said before, he's a, he's a the son of a very, very good friend. Um, so as much as it's all gonna be a little bit of a banter, and why not? There's probably a little bit of needle and wanting to take down the old boy. So um, this would be good. I haven't played for a while, so I've chopped my excuses in early, but um, this would be interesting. He's obviously going to hit it further than me. Um, being a young buck he is, and he does hit it 300 plus easily. But I'll, uh, I'll give it my best shot. Let's hit the second shot, shall we? I think it's him first. So he's got about 45 yards. Nice. The green's holding, Josh. Uh, ish. Oh, could be a duff and run. Oh, no. Duff and not run. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's April, but greens are running quite nicely. Even everything else is a bit wet, but. Go, 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 go. Blimey, just like his old man, never gives a putt. Okay, Josh said he's struggling with his putt a little bit, let's hope so, eh? Well done, good three. Very good. I don't hold those anymore, because of captain and pros. <laughs> One under, level. Thanks. What I didn't know, we're playing match play. So one up to Josh. Second hole. Okay. <laughs> Such, I'm so old. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I got hold of that, Joshy. Josh is down the left. The left is good round Chesterfield, and he's punched one out. Looks like just short of the hole. I've got about 190 to the pin. Looks like it's at the back, actually, so it's nearer 200. Right, OK. Uphill. Going to hit a little fade, hopefully. Stay there. Stay there. That could be quite tasty. Trev's out here. Have a little run around. Trev, break. Go on then. Right, folks, up at the green. Josh has got 80 left. He's got 80 yards. 
and I shot to about 10 foot. Shot bud. Go, stay on your line. Ooh, I had a chance, I think. I was looking at it. effort unlucky folks he had he had a little knee bend didn't he anyway all level onto the third you, you won't see the marker post but there's a marker post in the middle of the fairway i'm going for it straight over the corner oh, i leaked it a bit sit You play your own game, bud. Strike. Is that too much for that, do you think? One, three, four, so... See the pin there, it's hidden. Right play if it's a bit should kick in, maybe a little left of that. <laughs> About 100 yards, probably a bit shorter than that. I'm going to hit a gap wedge. Sit down, sit down. I think that's all right, bud. I think. Oh, I could have the advantage here. Remember, replace your divots, everyone, and pitch marks. Very important this time of year. Keeps the ground looking nice. Let's have a look, see where we are. Could have a chance. Yes, it's always good around that left side. It always comes in. You can see the bank there. Putting it to the right play. Not bad. Left it a perfect spot, about 12 feet, 15 feet below the hole, right to left. I should say it's a given, but with my putting. Oh. Pick it up. Oh, thank you. So generous. Good half, good putt. Good up and down there. Yeah. All square. Going to the fourth. Par three. Let's take a look. Beautiful little par three up the hill. Great views over to the Thames estuary on this hole, which we'll show you. Beautiful views out to sea, and you can see the sea. Whitstable. Just make out the wind farm there. When you've got 10 yards long, it must be 10 yards over the back. Oh. Sit down. That was a proper yasser, that one. You got nine. That is right on line. It's the right club. Is it a right club? Yeah. We could have a hole in one, folks. Oh, now that would be special. Be Let's get up there. So. Josh, I know I kind of dabbled on this conversation when I was walking up the first with everyone, but what was your handicap four years ago? Four years ago, I was off around 26, 27, around then. If anyone didn't hear that, Josh, what was that? I was off around 26 or 27, Mark. Around what are you off now? Um, around plus one, plus two. So he's plus one now, folks. So, albeit Josh always had a very good ability to strike the ball, his scoring shots needed to be improved, so we worked a lot, well Josh worked a lot on 
the shot he's actually just hit. So beforehand, you probably would have hit like a nine iron, Josh, wouldn't you? Yeah, full nine or wedge. And kind of whacked it as hard as he could up into the clouds. But now he's just hit a little cosy eight. And unlucky for us, it's not in the hole, but it's about four foot. So see what we can do. But 25 to plus one in four years. That is good going. It's not online, but the pace is all right, I think. Oh, it's coming back a bit. Oh, thank you. Out or in? Lucky, take it away. Okay, got away with that, folks. So. Right, Trev. All square with four to go. Eight hole match, folks. Not right out in the middle, but I'll take it, mate. See, beautiful view down to the 15th green, which is down there. A little bit out to the right. Should be all right, mate. Right, Josh is down the right side. It clipped a tree. Punched it out there. Can't see it. I think this is a perfect 56 for me. Sit down. Oh, go. Blimey. So he flagged it. He got a jump, got a bit of a flyer, so got to get up and down. Really good little chip actually. Just stopped on him, but pretty good. Gives him an effort for a pass. Fancy this just to fall in that right side, old boy. Oh, I haven't hit it enough at the right. That's it. Ooh, that's a smelly little distance. Oh. Oh, hit a good one too. Take that one. <laughs> oh, pushed it. Do I aim right? Yeah. I always aim right, my bad fault. What am I doing? One, four, one, we're on the 16th, par three. One, four, one, straight down wind. I'm gonna hit a little nine iron. That, my friend, is going in. Come on, let's get a couple of birdies here, me and you. Little cosy one, I do. Very good, it's the right club. side door action. I'll take it mate, I'll take it. Ooh, nice little two. Oh good effort again. I'm lucky. And one up, two to play. 17th is one of the strongest holes on the course. Um, second shot plays uphill. Anyone who's played Chesterfield will know it's uh, very strong driving hole especially, once you get the drive away, it's pretty straightforward, but I'm one up with two to play. Anyone who's played golf would kind of know what went through there on the 15th, three putting from no distance at all, across quite frustrating, but I think one of the secrets between club golfers, not saying amateur golfers, but club golfers, and the top professionals is the ability to kind of shrug it off. I'm not saying I have, but you definitely see the the pros on TV 
forget what they've done, just get on with it and bounce back actually. They call it that bounce back stat, don't they? So important to let it all go. It's frustrating. Golf's always going to be frustrating, but yeah, just to kind of dust yourself back off and crack on. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, that's my best one today. Drifting a little right, but I think it should be fine. Uphill, second shot you can see here at Chesterfield. Pin today, got it right on the back shelf. As you'll see when we get up there, there's a few different shelves. It's sitting right on the top. So I'm gonna go for it. Right side of the fairway for Josh here. 102. And that is on top of it. Good shot. 10 foot, folks. Right, let's get up there. God, I really thought that was closer, Josh. Oh, here you go, look. It's all about, it's all about spin control. This is tricky, actually. Up the slope, up the tier, probably won't see it on the camera. Weak and to the right. That has a little bit of life left in it. Especially after my miss on 15. Lucky. Take it away. Good effort. After that miss on 15, I wasn't fancying that. <laughs> One up going down the last. Let's see how we get on into the setting sun. Trev's still here. Aren't you, Trev? He's still enjoying himself. It's a perfect little playground for him here. So, got a little bit of a walk to get to the 18th tee. There's Joshua ahead of us. What could have been for him? It could have been pretty much a birdie every hole apart from 15. So, anyway see if I can get away with it and I've got a feeling Josh is going to make three up this last day. Okay, let's find out. We're on the 18th, pretty short par four, four, three thirty, forty, something like that. Anyway, it's the Oost houses. Green's just left of those. It's all right, it's a little bit right. I was trying to draw it, I find it difficult. Right. Right. A leaky from Josh. The right somewhere, up into those trees a little bit. Okay, let's go and find them. A little bit. Made a nice little shot, but a little short, I think. It's all right. Chip in there. Josh, you can get it all back with one little chip, matey. Come on, it's difficult with the old lightage. Long, I think. Long, eh? Good boy. No, no, no. Can't undo the divot, Trev. For some reason, Trev likes divots, so he likes to pick divots up. He always has done since a puppy. So, anyway, so back to the golf. Josh is about 20 short of the pin. I'm a bit long. He's got a chance to redeem himself here. Well, how do you want this to, to turn out? Obviously, 
hole. In the hole. <laughs> uh, Midish flight, lands on the front of the green, and then just spinning up a little bit. And yep. actually releasing into the hole. So he hasn't got a lot of green to work with, so he's going to have to play this a little bit of spin. He's got a little bit of wind to help him out. Let's have a look, see how he plays it. Played it a little bit under it. No, he played it very, very well. Well played, but... Okay, right, everyone, so Josh has got to hold this par to keep alive. Good, good putt. So I've got to hold mine now. Snaky little two and a half footer for the win. Ooh, left door. Enjoyed it. We'll have to have a rematch in yeah. Wales. Yeah. Well, anyway, I enjoyed it. Lucky Josh wasn't rolling the rock today, otherwise I would have been in serious trouble, but one up to the old boys you might have to give me a uh, a rematch in wales so hopefully watch this space thanks everyone for joining us thanks josh for playing bud Thank you. and we'll see you on the next one